Welcome back. In the last video, we saw how you can kind of create work items, work item, uh, the list of items you want to track what's happening inside your project. We also saw, saw how you can use uh, tags and query them. And uh, at the beginning of the project, we saw how we can kind of get started creating the organization. In this video, we're going to be talking about backlogs. What are backlogs in Agile? In, in a product backlog is a list of features, bugs or existing features or new bug fixes, any infrastructure changes, anything you want to do onto your project, any new feature development or any pipeline setup or any server creation or writing any test cases, everything goes into the backlog. It's a single source of truth for all the team members who are working onto the project. So if you want to track anything which is happening around, so any of your product owners or your client want to track what is happening inside your project, who is working on which story, story is a piece of work which is can be picked up by an individual, a developer or an, a DevOps engineer. So backlog is the place wherein you keep all your users stories into. So you see that you've already got one user story. Where did it come from? It come from the work item which we've already created. Uh, so any user story you create would be present in the backlog. At the moment, you've got only one user story. How we can create multiple because generally in the team, you would have multiple work items, multiple features, multiple bugs, test cases, infrastructure changes into your project. So let's start creating few more work items into your backlog add the UI button and then you kind of get the priority as well um, create servers and then add storage write test cases create architecture diagrams documentation placeholder so these are the items which you want to create you want to do uh, so your team member wants to pick any of these stories and you can kind of uh, change the priority as well let's suppose the documentation should be completed at the bottom should be should be completed later so you can probably pull this down to the bottom story to create authentication should go at the first because that's what we want to create first you want to create the architecture diagram then the ui button and then the write the taste cases so these are the backlog items which you want your developers to pick up and then start working on them if you click on them one by one you would see the it starts with the story uses the type of work item it is it is user story at them at the moment the priority and then the focus of the story the focus of the story is to create architecture diagram currently it is new it hasn't been created to anyone uh, you can st start creating to users if you have got a new user you can start start name of that particular user and start adding them as well then you can add the tags uh, in the tags you can type in as architecture that's all and then the description this story is for architecture and then the acceptance criteria when acceptance criteria is a placeholder where you if a developer says that I'm done with the feature, I'm done with the architecture diagram, what are the criteria you want to put in that done means? That done means uh, architecture. When do you say that the story is, the feature is completed, the work is completed, you say the architecture diagram is QA'd and approved by PO. It is uploaded into SharePoint maybe and that's that's when you say the story is done discussion as 
can mention somebody he would be notified the person who is working on it please start working on this and you can kind of define the story point as well uh, the priority which is starts from one two three four um, you can define the priority story point uh, underneath the story point you can define the story point whether it is t-shirt sizing or the Fibonacci or the square root uh, square of the even uh, number whatever the story point you kind of decide basis on your uh, methodology and then the history you kind of see the history what has what has been happening inside the story and then if you have an existing task which you want to attach to this user story you can add as well you can create new item as well how do you create a new item let's suppose you want to create multiple tasks uh, you want to break down this story into multiple tasks you can you can create start creating the task you can see as task one and you would see that you have a task one already been created save and close and you will see that this story has a task already uh, you can add attach the attachment like once you're done with the story you can attach the architecture diagram as well things like that once you're done you can hit on save and then the ui button and you can start putting the tags over here as well ui uh, maybe architecture again and state is new and if you want to uh, the same the discussion goes as you want to start a new discussion put in the acceptance criteria hit save and close right test cases add some tags over here test cases save and close that's pretty much all and then you've got the add storage now add storage is something which is for infrastructure so you can define as infra hit and save and then you can create server which is again looks like an intra story hit on intra click intra and click on save and then the documentation documentation you can add the documentation as well hit on save and you see all the stories has been now been created uh, with the tags as well if you go to the board section you would see that all the stories kind of visible into your board see right over here all the stories which you've created are now being available on the board what are boards uh, azure devops boards or boards in any uh, agile methodology are a placeholder which you want to time box your story now the story cannot run forever it needs to be needs to go into certain stages now somebody picks up the story uh, like I as a developer I want to start working on the story I and I want to time box it that uh, within two days I'm gonna put the story complete uh, once it, whenever I start picking up the story I'm gonna put that into the active state and you would see that the uh, the the story is now moved from new to active once you have done with the story you can start moving the story to the resolved one as well you see that the story has few the tags available uh, infra which we added and it has got a color coding as well how do you got this color coding so if you go to the toggle over here settings button if you click in the settings and you go to the tag colors you see a lot of features over here I've already created certain tags however you can you can kind of color code your tags as well like I've got infrastructure I want to color this as a red uh, and then I've got documentation I want to color them as probably blue and then I've got a bunch of other tags as well and if I hit save you'll see that all the color codings are now kind of defines which tags belong to which story this helps us to categorize uh, which story belongs to which tags and kind of uh, aesthetically it kind of, kind of lets us know that okay the blue one belongs to intra so I don't everything is white and and this the color coding kind of defines which story belong to which part which story belongs to intra which story belongs to architecture which one is the test one and what is the documentation one um, these are the by default columns you get however uh, the new active uh, resolve and close however you can however you can kind of uh, define the uh, columns basis on your business requirement as well like i want to create a new one so i can give it a name as probably uh, testing 
and you see that beneath the other ones we have now testing also available so you can kind of move the story from new to the testing and then to active and then to the closed one so yeah that's how you kind of so let's suppose the the intra guy has picked up the story once he's start testing the story he's going to move it to the testing and then going to be active and then the resolve if needed to be in documentation goes to the active if somebody's already been working on all right neat and clean that's how your board kind of looks like and board is somewhere you would like to like to identify what's happening inside the story fine that's fine you've created the backlog that's really good for your team however you can go to go to track the changes what's happening inside your story you can't just drag a story forever you need to move it to certain certain stages like if you have picked up the story now you're kind of working on it and you're blogged or you're you're kind of uh, testing it so all those criteria is fulfilled by the boards which kind of lets us know that what is happening inside the story which story is in the testing state which story is the active which one is blocked you can probably put a column as blocks as well the new column if somebody is blocked on one of the story because of somebody some other reason he can put the story into the block state and then kind of let people know that he or she is blocked and is ready to pick some other stories as well all right if you go to the analytics you kind of get a high view uh, of what's happening inside your team this is generally needed for the clients or the project managers who kind of get a picture of how many stories are closed on which date how many are blocked if somebody wants to look at the block story you can see that all right this one is blocked this one is resolved and kind of pull out this report and publish it whenever needed all right um, the analytics section kind of shows us what's happening and this is how your board kind of looks like that's it for now i'll see you in the next video thank you